Well, hi there, and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all of the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. So let's get right to it. Depression and stress is something everyone can relate to, especially with the hectic lives we are all living. That's why it's so important to take time for yourself and to take a few minutes to do something that is going to help with the stress you may be feeling, even and perhaps help get you out of a depression rut. Here with me now is personal fitness trainer, Carmela Qualia. Hi, Carmela, how are you? I'm fine, Adaldo. Thank you for having me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. So Thank let's you. start right off. Um, Tell me a little bit about your background in training. Well, my background is in um, personal training, mm -hmm. and I also have a clinical degree from NYU in social work. Okay. And with that, I do a lot of counseling with clients who have depression and anxiety, and part of my treatment mm -hmm. is to offer exercise techniques. Excellent. And how right can here. exercise help with anxiety and depression? Well, first to understand a little bit about depression and how that happens, is that we have neurotransmitters in our bodies, in our brains, that decline. Mm -hmm. And in order to elevate that and find, what, lack of a better word, a balance, right. um, when we exercise, our body releases endorphins. Mm -hmm. And those endorphins help elevate our moods. Okay. So that's why exercise can add a lot to people who have depression and anxiety. It can make them feel balanced and better and mm -hmm. happy. and. Um, you know, they have potential again in their lives to feel like they could live and, right. and accomplish the things that they want to. Excellent. So how often should you be exercising then? Well, that's a good question. It really depends on your need, right. on your goals, mm -hmm. on your disorder, Okay. Um, because that's pretty tough. And it's individualistic, as right. you know. You know, when you're training people, everybody has their own goals. Correct. So um, I would suggest at least three times a week for 15, 20 minutes to start with. And okay. that can be, I mean, that might not seem like a lot of right, time, right. but it actually is mm -hmm. because um, it's, it's starting, it's starting and you need a starting point. And from right. there you can build up. You don't have to go to the gym for three mm -hmm. hours, okay. you know, a day right, and, right. And, and do cardio and then lift and train and do okay. cardio again. I right. mean, you know, it all depends on what your goals are. I mean, if you're going to be a marathon runner, of right. course, you want to do a lot more cardio That's than correct. 15 minutes, you <laughs> know, right, three yeah. times a week, but a um, little bit at little a time, time, baby steps. So are structured exercise the only option then? Absolutely not. Okay. I think when you're feeling depressed, the one thing that is going to help you get out of it, mm -hmm. exercise. Right. It may be so simple, you right. know, I mean, our parents and, you know, the experts tell us, you know, sleep exercise, eat well. Right. It's not rocket science. Right. It's real. So then why isn't everybody healthy and why isn't everybody exercising, you know, on a daily basis? Hmm. Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of factors. Um, as we get older, you know, our lifestyle starts to change. Okay. And, and that's basically what it is. It has to become part of your lifestyle. That's right. So if you are one of those people who are like type A personality, right, you, right. Know, you are going to go to the gym every day and mm -hmm. you are going to have a routine and it's going to be embedded in your daily life. Correct. Um, but if you have depression, I mean, you don't even want to get out of bed. Yeah, that's right. So how are you going to get to the gym and do cardio or go outside? Hmm. So, and that's really difficult. So I suggest right. doing different alternative activities, such as go outside and plant some flowers. Excellent, or, yes. Or walk your dog around the block. That's or, right. you know, grab your child. Right. Or, you know, <laughs> just, just something. Just mm -hmm. move because our bodies are not built to stay stationary. That's right. They are designed to move. That's so, right. So, you know, if you're not one of those gym people right. and that's okay, just do something healthy that's going to make you happy. Right. So does this replace any therapies or medications that you know of? Or? Again, it depends on the severity of the depression or anxiety. Okay. I think in addition to, I mean, some people need medication, let's face it. And, yeah. you know, That's exercise right. is certainly not going to replace that. Right. But it can add to it because, you know, in addition to 
exer you know, exercise gives us so many benefits, mm -hmm. like socialization. It gets right. us out there with people. We smell the fresh air. That's we're, correct. You know, it, we're outside. There's sunshine. Mm -hmm. So those elements help, you know, induce a sense of well-being. Okay. Okay. And, are, yeah. there any, are there any exercises that you would recommend to do? Well, again, I mean, I love, you know, I'm probably one of the last people still <laughs> teaching step aerobics. <laughs> right. I've been teaching the same class for 20 years, oh but the God. same, right, the right, same right. group of people come uh -huh. every, every Saturday, and we have a blast. I mean, you know, it's total body. I do okay. toning, circuit training. I work the abs. I do breathing. I do some stretching. Mm -hmm. So I incorporate so many different movements right. in my Saturday morning classes. <laughs> yeah. And how... How difficult is it to change old habits? Wow, that's like a million dollar question. <laughs> it it, it right, truly is. Right. Because, you know, change, it's only a six letter word. It right. is so potent. That's right. It's not easy to change. I mean, wow. let's face it. And that's why I recommend baby steps, a mm -hmm. little bit at a time. Start right. walking, right. start, you know, just get up, even fold laundry. You know, do something. That's right, You're, do something. Just don't lay down. Right. And I think. Um, change does, it's, it is difficult, I'm not right. going to lie, right. but I think it can happen. I really do. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so basically, we have about 30 seconds or so left. Uh, where can people get more information about this real quickly? Like on a well, there are so many resources online, and I can be located and reached at um, Twitter. Twitter. Mel Quag, M-E-L-Q-U-A-G. Ah, so, you know, I'll be happy to, you know, answer people's questions and help them out. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here. Oh, I really appreciate you, it. Go. And lots of luck. Okay. Thank right. you. Good. All right. And still to come on Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo. Are you single and dating? We'll stop for just one minute because after the break, we're going to tell you why it's so important to learn to date yourself. And we'll explain. Stay tuned.